Got a little fridge here, 12 volt fridge. Hooked it up to our Eco Flow down the bottom there, a bit later on. At the moment we've got it chilled out in here. Just got to go and buy some food. Tint. Oh, I've got to get my sister a plant. I was going to put it, might put it over here, I think. Right, we'll have a look, eh? See what's going on, rubber. I'll have to put it right over here. All right. And there's the ocean over there. Look. And so, welcome, welcome here. Hello. Well, wow. made it all right. It's gone. It's cold. Eh? Oh, look, your things are all flaring up. Look. Hello. Hello, Rubbers, you can do tickle right there, look. I'm yes. sticking out, look. Yeah, there we go. Throw it over to the neighbours, okay? Hello, how are you? I'm good. Oh, the place looks nice. Come over and look. I think I've got the camera on. Wow. Nice. Who built this? Did a good job? Yeah, did a great job, eh? Re yeah. Reinforced heaps. Oh, it'd have to be, oh, I see got the old, yeah, metal on there. Yeah. How long has it been for? Uh, three months. Ah. Oh, solar panel there, look. Oh, I'm just gonna, I just put these from, these are gonna be, we're gonna put um, black um, tiles down there, concrete tiles, and that'll yeah. be the barbecue area. And these are gonna be made into seats with solar lights in them. Where are those from? What is it from? I got that from work. What is it? It's quite cool though. They, Fish tank. They used it for a, um, for kids to drop in, like when they were voting for something. Okay. Which is just ridiculous, because they had four of them, so I bought two. You got 100% charge. Yeah. 99 hours of that. 99 hours? Yeah, I think. Put like that. Put that in, we'll turn that on, DC on. And now we are going. There we are. It's drawing 46 watt output. 46 watts. So what does that mean? So that's not much at all. 17 hours running at that. It's going to be on the fast charge one. I should yeah. use my fast charge in. Right, so that was pretty red. So let's see. So it's going in, see? So it's drawing extra, like, two two watts on top of the, the fridge. Two power points there, look. Your power point in here, you can put your 240, 220, 240 volts. Comparison, my 20,000 milliamp power bank here which I use to charge up my phones and my batteries for my cameras this one here takes nine hours to charge up from zero to a hundred nine hours this one here does zero to eighty in an hour 160 watts quite a bit so is that four panels? yeah um, is it four? yeah so you go down like that and here Oh, let's see. Let me go down. Have them standing up. And then you oh, unfold it first. Unfold that. See. That's oh, amazing, eh? Now, isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. Look at that. Yeah. So amazing. The technology. Eh? Yeah. So, 160 watt is quite powerful. And this is the bag, so you just put it like 
groove of the sun is, like that. We've got some carabiners oh, here. Oh, I don't even know if it's going. Hmm? Is no, it okay? Going. Oh, it's recording here. Yeah. yeah. Is it? So, oh, yeah. carabiners, oh, yeah. like that. And that one goes like, put the carabiners in here. And that is your power. Better than spending 30 grand on power, isn't it? Yeah, you can follow the sun around too. Here have been it, yeah. Like that, that's it. And there it is. You just plug that into the side. Plug that in there, these two little plugs. And it does your power for you. Yeah. We have a coffee, Auntie Boo, over here. So I've got everything here, look. Everything's there. Just in case if I do go anywhere, I've got food to last for a while, so extra coffee as well, see? See, I like to have my coffee really um, strong. What? Yeah. You don't even need milk with those ones. No, I still do. You tell me when. Yep. Perfect, thank do you. Do you want any sugar? No, nope, don't have sugar. That's good for me, I just have a bit of coffee here, extra coffee. Yeah. It's very handy for you guys up here having milk powder too, eh? The we get that long life milk. I don't really drink milk. Okay. So we have long life milk and because Adrian has cereal. And then um I don't drink milk and have my coffee, you know. What do you cheers? Cheers. And then a glass of wine. So cheers for me too. Cheers, don't you boo? Cheers. Mmm. Alright. So I'm gonna sit here with Auntie Boo for a while. Sit here with my sister, we're gonna have a bit of a cut it all and stuff and you know set my tent up yeah. we're probably going to put it up around here maybe or maybe even in here because she wants to check out my tent see what it's like right time to get all the gear out of the car i've got bait in this chili bin i've got my fishing gear in here my gas stove got some clothes there uh bought the subwoofer got some pillows but got my fishing rods there some more food, a little tap in case I use it. Let's move it out of the way. And we use our tent, We're using our doity tent. And I'm going to do it right here because that wind's quite strong. You get some pretty bad winds out over here. A little doity tent. You get great tent, this one. I've used it probably four times. Get it goes into the bag easy, which is a bonus. There we go. Get a little homemade rope on it. So I'm going to put some tarps under here for a change. I don't normally do that, but I'm going to put a tarp, some tarps under here. Oh, puss puss. But yeah, see, look at the afternoon here. What time is it anyway? About five o'clock? The time? <laughs> You're kidding me, is it? Yeah. See, that's why I don't wear a watch. Because what do you want to wear a watch for when I know what the time is already? Five o'clock, exactly, apparently. You know how I knew? You can just tell. Hey. Hello. Hey. Hello, Missy. Stick over little tail. Just for tail, you see? Oh, oh, when was it? Back in Pakatani. No, it's when she was in there. Why not? Cute, eh? Not cute on my car, though. Um, That's not very cute. Oh. So to give it cut off. Oh, that would have hurt. Oh, we didn't even know it had happened until Jay went to the grill one day and just friends him. Probably why humans don't have tails, eh? I will do, I'll do a time lapse of this with a GoPro. I'll do a time lapse, see how that goes.
got it. Oh, yeah. Good, eh? Pocket this, syndrome. This Isn't that good? Pocket is so awesome. You just yeah, suck it in. such a good idea. So the wind's quite strong, but it's holding up pretty well without it. But I'll have to double, probably the double peg it. So when you had that big wind when you were up at Ali did you use a guy ropes? A marata. Was it marata? Yeah, and I actually had to put another one on here. I had two on here. Main one, and I put another one on. Just to really tie it on. I had one on this yeah. side. One on that side, one on this side, and it really... But I always check the weather forecast, and you yeah, check the yeah. winds and stuff. Yeah. So we always park, it was under the... Out of the main wind. And it's really good. Really fresh air and stuff. You can sit there and watch that side. Oh, I think it's great. Oh, I like it. It's a little bit different. Yeah. Look, I've seen lots of dome tents, but this one actually has. I like the side entrance. And for the price of it, it's so cheap. Oh, it's like 379 or something. 329 At the time. Where did you buy it from? Online. Marine oh, deals. I think they're two, Cebu. Another one. Yeah. straight from here across the old the hill here yep quite high there's well island over there it's like a tiny way over there somewhere way over in the back there that's the east coast heading up towards the coast uh takaha and stuff so well, the other adrian's back tomorrow we might do a fishing mission somewhere look at them or two or something maybe Week on Monday. Ooh, look at that beautiful spot. You know, oh no, you, you got know, this one. Yes, the old bench here. Yeah. And this one's got a vent on too. Yeah, yeah. There's a pole that goes between here and here. Yeah, I saw that pole. But um, when I put that up, I can't close the door at night. It pulls it out too wide. And where does it go? Oh, it goes where's through it? here. It goes no, where does it go? One, one hole in here, the other side holds the front bit up. Oh, yeah. But when you close it at night, you can't close the door very well. It actually seems like unnecessary, actually. But look at the floor. See? It's, it's a good part, too. It's a silver. How many times have you used this? Three times, the fourth time now. So you can sit in here with a, even a big chair, sitting here in your. Yeah, this is amazing. Sweet. Yeah. I, I'm almost tempted to give me one, actually. Because I like that big. Can't get them doing it online at the moment. I like that big area. It's only got, yeah, it's only got one thing here for a light. Oh, yeah, that's right, though. We'll have a few. Um, there's nothing out here with a light. So it leaked up here last time through here a little bit, just a little bit, coming down on the inside. I but because there's. Oh, well, that's for that pole. Oh, oh, no, no. Yeah. This one here? You know, the pole goes through here and then you got to flip it here and then it oh, folds okay. up the middle yeah. here. Oops, yeah. So then I've got some rubber mats to put down here. This thing here must be a um, this one here. Rubber mats, I've got a tarp for here. And this thing's good too, eh? It stretches out your tent. Mm. But there is, so yeah, this pole here is annoying. It's, when it's pole, this pole here is up here. It stretches out the tent and you can't close this door. Yeah. But it, it keeps it up. Yeah, but up. did it make much difference? Um, well, maybe if it's raining. If it rained, it's, otherwise it might get a pool of water. Yeah, see. So this is like a all, all, uh, nice high floor. Yeah. Silver floor. All right, we'll get our good stuff out now. Picnic blanket. Check that out. And there. I'm just going to get two of those. Would you bother though? Yeah. Oh, on a sunny day? Yeah, on oh, the inside of the tent. Oh, inside of the tent? Inside, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's the so blank side go down? Yeah. It gives you a lot more warmth and it's so... You can lie on that. And that's so I do a sit on. I sleep along the back here. you put here. it under your bed? Yeah, so turn around the other way. That way? Yeah. So I need two in here. Oh, you're going to put the bed against here? Yeah, so no way you'll fit. 
So this is the Coleman Big Sky Deluxe bunk for people up to 130 kilos or something like that, which is a bit heaps to go. And then, cousin Adrian had one of these. Is this the top eh? Okay, Michael. Right. It is going to fit. Haven't tried this out yet in this tent, but it's got a comfortable oh, no, This is the um This is the seat on. Yeah, oh it's upside down. Oh yeah. No, no, you gotta take this off. Hello Rubber. You look excited there, don't you? That's it. And this one had good reviews about it too, so uh, Marine Deals wants a review on this, they ask me, I go, I haven't used it yet. How does it look? The big sky deluxe, Coleman, always gonna fit. Yeah. Oh, I knew it was gonna be like that. Tweet. Well, it's well, okay. Does it lock in place? I hope so. Maybe, maybe not, maybe that's it. So, Wood thing too is you can put storage under here. See? Yeah, that's, that's what they say. You can store stuff under there. No, but it's not for you, that's for Dad. Yeah. And I've got a little um, Kmart. Probably move it up the side of it. I've got a Kmart. Uh, Should I try it out? Try it out, yeah, yeah, try it out. Oh my gosh. I reckon. How much are these? 250. Can see your Auntie Boo? About 250 bucks, I think. They've got the smaller one, the regular one, but. You won't be clamping in style, don't you? That's so good. Yeah, I tried it at Adrian's place and I go, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You just need it away from the sides a bit. First time I've tried this out. And you can put another one on if you want, another mattress on if you want to. You, do, you know, or bright mattress. No. Brother, come here. Yeah, come see Auntie Boo. Hi. She goes, where's my bed? Hey. See you, bro. Nice. No, so what next? Well, do you want more? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rabbit's bed's down here. I haven't got her a, a bunk yet, but we got a foil mat down here under here for her. And with a little sheepskin. She'll be happy as a little snorer, aren't you, Rubber? She wants some kai. Oh, Alright, so we're going to be having some kai soon. Oh, Cooking some kai in the barbecue. Or we had some pork chops too, see? I bought some pork chops as well. Some salad there. I bought some cucumber and tomatoes. Fridge on. So you're gonna have a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. I'm gonna I'll just do it in here. Do you wanna do the barbecue? Yeah. Minus one degrees. You can turn that off. There you go. Ninety-three percent. Let's put coffee. Right. Oh, it was bored already. Oh, that is so fast. It's about half full. Amazing. Oof. But this is an awesome thing to take. Ooh. Rather than take a thermos, just take that. Um, I've cooked pasta and they're like minute pasta, you know. Yeah. Um, but it's hard to control that heat. And you want to try and simmer it yeah. with these things. I think the jet boil you can simmer it. it simmers a bit better. I'm not sure, but and then you burn the bottom. Yeah. And there we have it. Ouch. Mm. Here we go. So cheers, cheers again. Cheers on Debu. Here she is. Mm. Ah, yeah. Nice. Two days now, I just thought some missing Two day? <laughs> this cat's name is Two Day. Not for rubber. I think I'll turn them both on. Okay, they're going. Oh, yeah. We haven't got many flies up here. 
Hey, Bill. You're like fucked up, don't we? I put two frozen pork chops. So it might be tea tomorrow night. Don't get any fish. Need a little on there. That's good. Right. Get stuck. Right. Put it on there. Never did any better than that, does it? I've just been really annoying. She's just like, I can't talk to my sister. She just wants attention all the time. Ten year old baby, look. Rabba, can you get a stick? She would have a big stick about six foot long over there before. Oh, oh sorry. Ah, oh, sorry. Did you see that? fingers over hanging. No, oh. it spurted out of the blimmin. Oh, okay, so it was me. No. Yeah. <laughs> Save it for later. Yeah. There we are. Turn that off, you turn it off, yep. Rubber, rubber, lick your hand. Char, flavour to it. Yeah. My favourite fat, pork fat. I'll get rid of my feet. Got a char flavour? Mmm. Mm, these sausages are nice, but I don't know if I'd rush out and get them again. Mm. A little bit dry, actually, if anything. It's a ball rolls, not a real sausage. Right, so here we are. I've got this fridge in our tent. So we're in our tent now. And here's our night deer look. I'm looking forward to trying this out tonight. Our Coleman bunk. What do you guys reckon? A bit of mozzie up there, look. Could be. Grab his beard. Oh, I've got that sheep skin for a tooth. Little sheep skin for out of here. Be. It's not going to be cold tonight. Can you come inside? Come on, you know. come inside. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you are. It's Rubber's beard. Yeah. Oh, wait. Nice. Nice there she is, the rubber. Hey. If you won't stay there, I'm gonna go back outside again, but just thought I'll come and show you guys and I'm gonna charge up nice hey. Charge up these batteries for the GoPro. And all done a time lapse tonight, but it's pretty cloudy out there. Oh wait, brother. Happy as eh? Thank you. Yeah. Right, so one here is Enduro batteries in the GoPro. So handy having three batteries and cameras. I'm going to put this one here into the fast charge right here. So look at that drawing 29, 23 watts, 12 watts, which is bugger all because it's probably reached its temperature that it wants. Zero degrees minus one, so it's slowed right down a bit. It's about 44 normally, but we'll see where we plug this one in. And fast charge, two batteries, and it's a drawing now 30, 30 watts, 19 to 30 watts. And we're at 91%, so that's while we're here, I might as well charge up my phone. Got the charger there, have I? I need to charge my phone up. Might as well. Charge up my phone here. So, so this is pretty amazing, like, I couldn't be able to do this when I'm camping and filming normally. No way. Have a fridge going. So the phone's charging up. And so we've got the fridge on. Let's slow down a bit because it's got its temperature reached. And we've got two batteries in the GoPro charging up. And also we've got my phone charging up. 
and we have got 30, 24 to 35 watts output 91% so I'm pretty impressed with it yeah, as I said before there's no way could I have ever go camping and try to film camping and fishing not have a fridge like that and also tightening up my yeah, gear still another two ports here I can put in my I can put this one in now this is my normal power bank this one takes a nine hours to charge up this one nine hours so this is good for the bush and stuff and this is what I used to always use before before I uh, got this EcoFlow system I have two of these get all my phones now yeah, I can plug my laptop in as well Good morning, my brother. Good morning. How are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Mm. How are you? You have a good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Mm. Oh. <laughs> you want to come up here with Ted? Hey, okay. you want to come up here with Ted? Oh, 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 you guys up in a little bit. I'll put my beanie on because it's well that's better I should put it on last night. Right. Let's check on the old um see what the fridge is like. I had the fridge on during the night. Just make sure it doesn't get up to three degrees so I'm gonna go on there for a bit. 73%. So I had it on um, I had this on a little bit last night for a few hours the fridge. Make sure it stays nice and cool. Yeah. So me and Ed. Mm. 
pretty cool, eh? Such a awesome system, man. I'm loving this. That thing's quiet. That thing is noisy. Right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'll have a bit more of a lie down. Mm. Nice and warm, eh? Oh. Good deal, eh? Oh, good deal, eh? Okay, I'll put the camera away, eh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's cold outside, eh? It's cold. Yeah. Mm. It'll be a good deal. Yeah. What are you going to do today, eh? Hey? Do some fishing today? Do some fishing. Hey, buddy. Go to the beach. Hey, hey buddy. Go to the beach, eh? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Go to the beach for a swim. Hey. Mm. Hey. The fridge is on. It's really cold. It's nice in there. It's a lovely day, half past seven. Yeah. And check out that sea. Oh shit. Check out this sea. It looks beautiful today. Oh, could I have quite yet? No. Here, baby. Here you go. Here you go. Good breakfast. Really? That's all you got. You want some pork chops? Yeah. Tells her again. Hmm? Yeah. She likes pork chops. Yes, she does. Today. Today. Oh my. So somebody ate a big pile of biscuits out the front. That was biscuits might have been today. Today. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Right. I like those biscuits. Right, hello. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, you true, eh? Yeah. Right, so welcome back. We're going to head off down to the beach over here at Hawaii and we're going to meet up with my sister's daughter and her partner and we might have a bit of a fish on the beach Tori's sister's going to go for a swim in the river and I'm going to have a bit of a fish off the beach there so what I've done is I've brought the eco -fray with us it's been going for a few hours now we're on 62% 23 watt output and this is we're doing so well, we're at zero degrees on here. Had this on for a few hours in the morning, and now I've just taken out all my food, put into my other chili bin with ice, and we're going to take this one here in the car. It hooks up to the battery in the car, 12 volt in the car. Take it out back onto EcoFlow. We've got in here our bait and some fish fingers. Fish fingers there, getting some fish fingers and eggs on the beach, hopefully. Need a frying pan, it's remembered me, reminded me. Okay, so turn that off, put this into the car, eco flow. Get that, pull it out. Get this and go into the car. Hopefully, it'll fit in the car. Put it down here and just place straight into the 12 volt. There we go. Yeah, have a bit of fish, see what's going on. Might be hot there fishing during the day, but turn this off. And we'll carry this with us. See, nice and easy to carry as well. Put it 
over somewhere. Got a guest over here. Pronk right in here. There you go. So here we are, we're at Hawaii. Come on, girl. You guys might know where Hawaii is. If you're from around here, you would know. So I've got another sister who lives over here. My older sister lives here. We're going to go over there, my friends, and have a bit of a fish with my sister's daughter and her partner and see how we go. So we have a fish down here, we're going to check it out, I don't know, we'll just carry our rods down. Yeah. So you normally know, I have fished the other end of Hawaii beaches way over there. But now and again you get some nice fish in here. Gurnard, some snapper, trevally, and of course some kahawai. So right we'll get our rods out rubber and we're gonna have a fish. Alright, so I set my rod up. I brought two rods, but I left the third part behind off my other rod. I put the reel for it, but I didn't bring the part of the rod that the reel goes on to. So I've only got one rod, not two. It's a bit of a bugger. Right, now how sure the fishing's going to be. People next door have uh, buggered off. see how it goes over here today during the middle of the day oh. we'll see how it goes but yes welcome to Hawaii Hawaii Beach Right, cast number one on our camping and fishing trip. Finally, we are here. Here at Hawaii. Let's see what's around here. We're going to be cooking some fish fingers and eggs. Yes. First time having it here at Hawaii Beach. I wonder if anybody else has had fish fingers on this beach here. Fish fingers and eggs. So I'm not very hungry, but we'll do this video here because it's going to look really nice having fish fingers and eggs while we're here down the beach. So, got your GoPro set up. First time this camera fishing, cooking fish fingers and eggs. So there's all my gears, we've got the old um, stove there, there's some eggs, and I brought down the chili bin, and we've got our, we've got a few fish fingers in here, so we'll grab those out. And we've got the famous blue plate as well. So we'll get those out of here. Not any in there, but there's enough to for a bit of a taste test. Close the fridge up. And we'll turn our pan on and let's do some cooking. Fish fingers and eggs. It doesn't get any better than that, does it? 
and maybe a sepal would be nice, but... Yeah, flames on. A bit of wind here, so our windbreaker should be good enough. Get our pan on, nice and hot. Yep, perfect. Here, yeah, boy. I don't want to have a swim. So we have a bit of a feed in there, we have a bit of a fish, and um, yeah, I've always had a bit of a swim. So we head to the river over there and give it a little swim. Get oil. Yeah, we've got our bird's eye, bird's eye fish fingers there, so we'll just eat those. Perfect. Alright, so we'll get a bit longer, then we're going to add our eggs on there. But I was recording there, can't see in the sun, it's really hard to see that we are recording this one, so... Should we try this bit here, you reckon? Okay, let's try that. Mmm! <laughs> Have been a good day today. Mm. And there you go. Oh, good old sister's finished having a swim, so they're gonna have some fish fingers. I'm gonna have a couple with some eggs. They're gonna have a taste test. Share our fish fingers around. My niece has got a good appetite, so we'll give her some. I've just flipped these eggs and they'll be ready, so we can turn the gas off and Kai's ready. There we go, so I'm going to put an egg in here, a couple of fish fingers, and the egg. Okay. Just gonna cook in the pan for the next hour. But I'm hungry. People coming over here, so we're gonna have a bit of a taste test for you guys right now. Taste test number four. Ah. This is. There you go. Oh! Are you getting any nipples, Michael? 
No. Much you, Brett, sir. Oh, dear. How are you, Brett? What? Yeah. The frying pan's hot. A couple of eggs in there. Mm. Mm. Best food in the world. Fish fingers and eggs. That'll do. 400 metres. Perfect. Chili bin on. Put your fridge on. Turn it on. We got 61%. Let me turn on the old this one here. We'll see what we get. Look, nine degrees, see? Nine degrees on the beach. So nine degrees on the beach. We got these vents are clear. And leave that going. We'll keep this back door open. I'm just going to go and walk down over here, so, and, um, awesome. Look at 61%. When we get back here, I'm going to charge this up, we'll put this onto the solar panel, I want to show you guys that. Isn't it handy, see? No ice, just use that. If you guys have four-wheel drives, can just drive straight onto the beach, park it up. Keep your fridge in your car, just like that. Better than the CA. Yeah, I think it is. It's quite good around water. Like with waves, you know, just can read the water pretty well. Big sand flies around here. Oh, yeah. The car, I've had the boot open since we've been away. We're down to zero degrees. Look here. Down to 50%. So the last two hours we've been purring along. Got the bait nice and chilled in there. Perfect for my eggs. Zero degrees. My box is still cold. Perfect. There we go. Well, I'm heading back now. Right, I've just been the last hour trying to find my phone charger. And I couldn't find it annoying me. You know, when you go camping, you can't find stuff when you're camping. Well, I've spent an hour trying to find my phone charger. So I'm just like, Robert, what are you up to? I'm always getting the shot. So I've just charged up my phone. The old chili bin's still going, zero degrees. We are pulling 44 watt at 30%. So while the sun's out, I'm going to set up the solar panel. You guys saw it yesterday. We're going to set it up. We're going to charge up the EcoFlow River Pro. Here's your cables. So we must hook onto here. That's right here a bit. And here. Oops, keep those up there and I'll make a... Oh, that sun's pretty hot. 
Right, so these are the uh, cables for it. It's got MC Falls or something like that. If my memory serves me correct. So what percentage is it on now, Michael? Running at 30%. 30%. So how much do we know how much it it's drawing 44 watts out with it's with the chili bin going and charging my camera up. So I'm also going to put my laptop in there, we'll check that as well. We'll use the AC ports for our laptop. Mm. So let's okay. go in here. Yep, there you go, put it in. Whoa, this is easy as that. And that plugs into this one's gotta go. I'm just going to open this up and then I put the plugs in. So there is our cable there. Solar panel, lift up this lid and it goes into here. Just like that. There's your 240 volt, that one's the one that charge up to your main, main power socket at home. It charges up from 0 to 80% in an hour. And full 1.6 hours apparently. Also your surge protector there. So, we'll be on the front here. Is it going? Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah it's going. Output is 45 watts. And it's on 30%. And 105 is going in, charging up. Ninety-one going in, forty-four going out. Let's have a look on here. I'm going to turn the fridge off. We are on 36%, so I'm going to turn the fridge off. Yeah, have it like that for a while. We're going to try and, oops, excuse me, try and flop the eco flow before the sun goes down. It's um, putting out 45 and putting in 36, so we turn that off and watch it. DC off, on, off. Let's watch it go up. I'm gonna have to move these. I have to move these a little bit around. Let's see, move it over. Get all four panels in the sun. Yeah, it's better. Sixty-nine input. So we'll leave it like that for a bit. At least it's charged it anyway, that's the main yeah. thing, eh? Pork chops. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, River. Good morning. <sighs> the sun's coming up, so it's going to be pretty hot in here soon. A little tent.
Robert was tired last night. She went to bed early and she was asleep. No more energy left after our day at the beach. Did a, um, a few time lapses last night. Four of them, four time lapses. So just to try out this camera, see what the GoPro is like at doing these different time lapses. But, yeah, quad seven, look at it, beautiful day. Quad to seven. Sun is out. Yeah, the glorious day. Yeah. It's a lovely day. Go see what my footage of the times as we like last night. Remember, he he's a grand lot, remember? There's nobody there, bro. Gears there, water, water, bait, spinners. We've had our breakfast and I've uh, sorted my gear out. I got the EcoFlow in the one of the rooms trying to charge up in the shade. We got six percent. Right, so the brother-in-law and I, we're going to be heading to the Motu this morning. We we're talking about it last night, whether we're going to go or not today. So. This is the first time coming here, so I said I'll take you up there and take you to the Motu for a fish. It's the first time, so he's pretty excited. Just organising all our gear, make sure you've got enough gear and make sure you've got fluid. Always got to have water, otherwise you're going to be drinking it out of the river, which is it's all right. Now, the birds are working slowly along the coast here. We've had some birds around uh, Thornton area, but not many, and then the other day I saw a little bit of bird action at the Whakatane Heads, but really it's been quite quiet at the moment, For even for early December. We're normally catching kahawai now at, around the Heads in Whakatane, but because the water's been quite dirty up until probably about a week ago, it's made using spinners there quite hard and the water's been quite rough, so uh, low tide today is 11 o'clock. Uh, normally would be up there at the change of light, but I was up till just after two this morning trying to film some time lapses. You can feel the wind seeds, a bit of a westerly coming already. It's a beautiful day. Let's see if there's any kahawai around here today. Let's see what's going on with the kahawai. I've got um, pilchards, I've got some. Salted skippy, I've got a crayfish towel there, so and some pilchards here, so see what happens. And some spinners. Great fishing's down here. Yeah. Yeah. The heavy rain has uh, changed this uh, river mouth heaps. Yeah. Oh, right. That's heaps different to what it normally looked look like. The firewood here, look. So we saw a whole lot of birds working at front of Hawaii just uh, about a quarter of an hour ago, so I wonder if they're going to be heading this way. And this is the first big rookup I've seen in, since last year. Oh yeah. Mouth's right there, eh? Ah. So that rain here, it's got like there's a couple of mouths there. So for those guys who haven't been here for a while, I want to see what's going on up the Motu. That's what's going on. Far out. Heaps different. Look at firewood. Oh, wow. Wow. 
um, old case, eh? Oh, look, so there's a mouth here. And there's a mouth, I think the main mouth's on the other side there. That's the main mouth over there. I just left, you had no fish, but you got this mouth here, which is unusual. That come from the far corner here. And you got a, the main mouth is in the middle there, which you got to look across here at low tide to get there. And I don't feel like getting wet and stuff. And look at my shorts, and you have to leave early, otherwise you might have to swim across. Like, I've been here a few times, swim across here. But we saw a bit of bait fish just in here, swimming around. Um, so you can get across over here, see, and get to the main mouth, which is over there. And try over here. So it's good coming out to do a bit of reconnaissance to see what this mouth looks like after the heavy rain we've had the last few months. It's really pushed this river out. So it's changed heaps since it was last here. So we might be able to walk across, you can see all the rubbish in here, see? See how messy it's been the last few months. Uh, so we can probably cross over here and get across. See, it's quite not too bad, but who's going to fish in here? Adrian's using, going to use some bait. I'm going to try some spinners out for a little while. We've got the blue and white Grim Reaper. We'll try that one out. And then we'll... Uh, the crayfish, we've got some uh, salted skipjack and we've got some orchard so over here is quite shallow over there so probably cast around here somewhere anyway I'm going to have a few casts and um, we'll see how we get on it's a beautiful day here to Mochu again yes, there's a third mouth way over the other side there okay I'll put the GoPro here onto the harness and we're going to have a few casts. Might be more too. Doesn't get any better than that. First time I've seen it like this before. Heavy rain actually took away part of the road earlier on. The bend in the road took one of the lanes away so that's how much water come down here. The road was closed for ages. We just fixed it up. Which all I can do is really have a cast around here, the deeper water. So low tide's at 11 o'clock, so another two hours before low tide. Not even incoming tide yet. So maybe those birds we saw at Hawaii just around the corner there might be coming this way. Bait fish. So we'll just have a spin here and see what's going on, shall we? See what's going on. Any Kawai here? First cast. So I'll change to a uh, ledger rig. I'm going to use a ledger rig in this little water here. Two hooks. We've got crayfish's bait. Fresh crayfish. So I'm going to put, use that. Ledger rig. Normally I like to use a running rig around here with a running sinker. But because it's so, so shallow over here. We thought well. I'll just go a little bit. In for the old ledger rigs. I'm just going to pipe up over here under the. Put that stuff on the end of this log in the shade. Just want to get too black out there. I think I smell sulfur. Right here, look, see? Beautiful. I just smell sulfur. I think it's sulfur. It's a white island puffing away. So. Yeah, stinks. Sulfur. Put my rod up here, I think, and then we'll chuck it into here. Little bugs, look. Oh, 
way up then. See that? Little bugs, look, they can take their bloody shit home. So I'll put that into my little bit. See, I'll put this into my bloody bag. Look, what do you do that for? Look, they shit follows, man. They shit follows around here. Look, take your shit home, eh, rubber? Look, terrible. See? Somebody here with a hex wobbler. Put it in my pocket, put it in my bin. Take it home. With the bugs. So that was going to cast just over there a little bit. Mm. I don't know how deep that water is. So it's low tide in two hours. So this water will probably come up here quite a bit. I'll say the water will probably come over here, over this, these rocks here, hopefully. So it might be a good place to have a fish, right here. Then get wet. So I'm going to put it around about here somewhere. Oh, right there. Perfect. Hey, rubber, little bugs, man. Perfect. Let's see how this bag goes. Check it in right about there. Hang on. Still nibbles though, eh? I'll go with this chush. nibbles again look but hey it's better than the other day nothing no bites at all so come on I think oh fish on <laughs> got a fish I think little one yeah oh well I think so it's little if it is there he is, little fish. Yeah, first fish off the trip. Look at that. She's a little live bait. That one, little bait. Look. Look at that. Good bait, that one. But we'll put it back. We'll put that one back, shall we? Here we have it. Our first fish off our trip. Look at that. It's well hooked in the old crayfish. We'll let you go, my friend. That could be good bait, but we'll let you go. Here we have it. Check that out. First fish from the trip. You can go back in there, my friend, and then tell your granddad to come here and we'll catch him. Here we go. Crayfish. Yeah, little buggers. It's coming in, it's probably come up about two meters along the shore there. Right there, just sitting here in the shade but under here because it's freaking hot out there, and the water's coming straight in over there. Look, incoming tide, so we're actually in a good spot here. Once my water comes in, you might be able to get the old spinner out and just cast right in that hole right up there, the gap. Hey rubber. Keep it on my rod over there. Oh yeah, to this place here, it gets so hot here. Having a few casts over there into that hole there, but having no luck. I've seen spinners, got the silver one on, the hex lure.
and nothing there. Pass, I think, and then see how it goes. Come on, Kahawai. It should come in through here. I hope. Hey, right, Ripper. Long day down here, Ray. Right? Long day for you. You'll be hungry. You didn't eat your breakfast this morning. Right, so we're going to head back to the car. It's pretty hot here. It'd be way better but if we had high tide in the morning, not like high tide at five in the afternoon or six. Well, low tide was 11, so... Here we are. Oh. So we're just here, we're just going to see if Adrian's here. He's camping over here, this camping ground uh, bottom by Marae Nui. I'm just going to check it out because we're going to do, uh, possibly do some camps down here. 10 bucks a night, so it's pretty good. Is Adrian over there, look. He's got two rods. Yeah, thanks for everyone. So, the... hey, cuz. Wow, very good ass. Who's that rubber? There, yeah, bro. So the Mutu's way against the hill there. So we just come over the hill and down here. Whoa, this is drain, look. Drain fishing. Wow. Good spot, eh? That was tired. Big day down the, down the beach today in the hot sun. We were pretty tired. We can sit up there. Our table there. Eco flow. Bring the power to the fridge down here. We're only on 33%. I didn't have enough time to charge up this morning before we went fishing. In this afternoon, we got back late, so we're on zero, and then we managed to charge it up to about 50%. Yeah, we're down to 33. So this fridge won't be going on for too much longer. I'll just turn it on off during the night to try and keep it cool. It's down to about 4 degrees out there. A common bed, use it as a chair. That's the end of our uh, night tonight. So I'll pick up, go back tomorrow, and uh, we'll think about another trip to do very soon up here. And hopefully the car will start running soon. But yes, I'm enjoying this tent very much. So you have to get up early in the morning because when the sun comes up, it's pretty hot in here. So you had a bed at about half past seven. It's pretty hot. And this Coleman's bunk is awesome. As you can see, I also use it as a chair. So you get a nice little chair as well to sit on. Good morning everybody, good morning. Picking up today, we're heading home. Bad weather's coming, we've got some cloud coming today and some rain. And rain for the next few days. So we've actually done a really good camp and some nice weather for a change. So my tent's all emptied out. Oh, apart from sleeping bag. Pick our tent up and we'll head home. Rubber, we'll go home Rubber, you had a good camp. You had a good camp, eh? You slept like a baby during the night. My gear's all packed up, so I'm just going to load my car up. Got our gears there. And yeah, the bad weather's coming, so we better go home. Three nights away, it's enough. So we'll go home and we'll uh, get ready for our next camp. I was on Facebook this morning, and a friend of mine on Whakatani here slayed the Kahawai at Whakatani Heads yesterday. And I knew they were going to be there because it's about when they normally turn up. And I've seen a lot of birds working out the bar and stuff. 
So awesome to see uh, the kahawai getting caught there by uh, Ray Watson and Fakatari. Awesome photo, some nice kahawai you got there. It's definitely not kahawai up the Motu. And uh, yeah, so the kahawai uh, back in Fakatari. So we're going to be heading back there today. We'll go and check the bar out, and then we might have to do some early morning fishes at the Fakatani Heads because that's where the Kahawai are, and that is the place we are coming from. I go all the way up to the Motu, try and catch Kahawai, and they're actually in Fakatani. It's a good bed. I'll probably go to put a, a little mattress on top, just give me a little bit more comfort because I like my beds a bit softer. But heaps of room on these beds, they're fantastic. And what else we got there? Came up blanket. Did another good job as usual. Awesome came up blanket. Came up pads. Uh, and the Eco Flow River Pro. An awesome little unit. Charged up all my devices really well. Only thing that I was I found a bit harder with this for me with Eco Flow River Pro is that. When I go off during the day, in the morning to do some missions, fishing missions and stuff, I'm away all day. I will prefer to have this charging up on the solar panels while I'm away. But when I'm away, you got this outside, solar panels outside. I couldn't charge up this yesterday until I got home in the afternoon. We missed out on a lot of the sun, the midday sun. We got back here about half past three or four o'clock, so I only had to do a couple of hours of charge up on the solar panel. Awesome little unit, but yeah, if on my way doing missions, you have to leave this somewhere safe so it won't get pinched because that is quite an easy thing to lift up. That plus the solar panels, and you have all that money there. You know, it's like nearly two grand's, well over two grand's worth of product there. So yeah, so I came back yesterday afternoon from a fishing trip and managed to get about two, three hours charge up on that, and we got it up to fifty percent. And then the sun went down, an awesome little unit, charged up all my GoPro batteries and stuff. There's my GoPro charger for my GoPro, I've got three batteries for that. Charged up my phones, but especially it was great for this Ridge Rider fridge here, it kept your food nice and cold. And yes, yeah, so a good little unit, EcoFlow River Pro. Just the issue I had of uh, when you go away, you just can't leave it lying around because otherwise somebody's going to pinch it so if somebody's around the campsite or you're away and they can look after it while it's charging up that's good if you're a couple and if you're going out fishing and someone stays back at the camp and keeps an eye on it charges it up and it's ready for the whole night of devices and stuff so but that was been an awesome little unit first time in trying it out and I really do like it it's been a um, fantastic little unit EcoFlow River Pro so there are some Christmas specials on the EcoFlow series at the moment coming up for Christmas. So I'll leave a link in the description of this video below uh, to the websites and get hold of these guys here in EcoFlow River Pro. You also see this on YouTube. Um, some good reviews about it. People who've uh, been using it recommend it. And uh, I do also. That is a really good unit. Handy for me, for uh, rubber and myself, for these little camps. If you're a bigger family, go for the big, bigger ones like the Delta Pro and the Delta, here, yeah, the Delta and the Delta Pro, which are quite big units. If you get a extendable battery, uh, it'll double your watt hours. So it brings up to about 1400 watt hours. So if, if like me yesterday, I couldn't charge up with the solar panel, if I had the extra battery in here, that would keep me going for another 24 hours at least. Yeah, and just plug it into here and get a little battery, same as this one here. So, awesome little system, and I'm looking forward to using it sometime very soon. Robert, come over here, girl. Come up here. Up you come. come. Over here. So, on behalf of Rubber and myself, uh, I'd like to say thank you for, for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed our video. And um, let's see, she loves camping, eh? Yeah. So thank you guys for watching and hope it inspires you guys to get out there and, and do the same stuff that we do.
because we love going camping, eh, Rubber? Yeah? Yeah. Hey, we love camping and fishing, don't we? Yeah. So, thank you, Rubber. Say thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And get out there and do some camping, because it doesn't get any better than that. Does it, Rubber? Say it, say it with Dad. It doesn't get any better than that. Yep, see? Catch you guys later. See ya.